Today, I'm challenging myself to make a burger that is straight out of Barney's dreams. I mean, look at these buns. I love you. The ingredient that inspired it all is what Filipinos call ube. It's basically a purple sweet potato. If you can't find that, you can also get them grated and frozen in a package like this or canned as a spread. And I'm using that to make the bun. Now, instead of using a traditional bread bun, I'm gonna make steam buns. To prep, I just peeled and steamed the potato until it was tender. In a bowl, combine warm water and yeast. Then add some flour, pop in the ube, and mix it well. Once it starts forming a massive dough, go in with your hands and knead it for about 10 minutes. Make sure to gather all that excess flour, then transfer it to a lightly oiled bowl, cover it up and allow it to rise for about two hours or until it doubles in size. Then transfer it to a lightly floured surface and gently knead it and then form a log. Divide it in half lengthwise, divide equal portions, and gently roll each one into a ball. Place them on individual parchment squares, cover it again with a clean towel, and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. Then just cook them in a steamer for about 15 to 18 minutes. Now I'm gonna set the buns aside and make the purple cheese. In a food processor, combine white cheddar, milk powder, tapioca flour, and salt. In a saucepan, combine water, wine, and butter. Then once it comes to a little boil, add your purple food coloring. Then add it to the cheese mixture a little bit at a time until the cheese has melted and everything is well combined. Pour the mixture into a plastic lined container, smooth out the top, cover it up, and chill it in the fridge until it really firms up so that it'll be easy to slice or shred, whatever you want to do. Now for the slaw, which is also Filipino inspired. In a bowl, combine red cabbage, red onion, ginger, some Thai chilies, sugar, and vinegar. Then mix it well and set it aside. The patties also have some Filipino fusion going on. Take some ground pork, garlic, soy sauce, vinegar, and black pepper, and mix it all well. It's basically an adobo flavored patty. I've got all my burger elements ready. I've got my bun here. I'm gonna slice it in half. Look at that, it's nice and soft in this pan, just melting a little butter so I can toast the buns. This is the purple cheese. So you see it's nice and firm. Because the cheese is very soft, I like to use some floss, make sure it's not mint flavor. And just make little slices by sawing down. It's not gonna be like perfect cheese, but this is the most purple, meltable cheese you can get. Put my toasted buns to the side. Just for today, I'm gonna put on some rubber to handle my meat. I'm just forming my patty slightly bigger than my bun because when it cooks, it's gonna shrink a bit. That goes straight into the pan. Once it hits the pan, just squash it a little bit. The only time I recommend smashing a burger is when it first hits the pan because if you do it later, all the beautiful juices come out and then you've got the desert. Just gonna cover it up to help the insides cook a little faster. Now it's time to give it a flip. Oh yes. And get the cheese and just lay it on top. And cover it up again just to let the cheese melt. This looks done. Oh yes, the cheese has melted. The patty is nice and cooked. Place that straight on the bun. Get some of that slaw. Put it right on top. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this looks crazy. And there you have it, a Filipino inspired purple burger. All right, it's happening, it's happening. Mm. Whoa, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good in there. <laughs> that is so flavorful from the bun, the patty, the slaw. I was a little worried about the cheese, but it all comes together. So full of flavor. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to just eat life. Mm.